please divorce me. What? Why? Actually, I'm going to take over my mistress's company. So, you're no longer needed. <laughs> the husband said this with a triumphant look on his face. From my perspective, I was rather grateful that he confessed on his own. It's fine. Here, the divorce papers. When I said this and handed him the divorce papers I had taken out of the drawer, the husband's eyes widened. My name is Elizabeth. I'm a 30-year-old office worker. I've been married to my husband, Daniel, for three years. We met at a group blind date hosted by a mutual friend. My husband was very proactive in approaching me, and I was attracted to him, so we started dating. After that, we continued to date smoothly, and he proposed to me a year later, and we got married. Daniel was always kind and gentlemanly to me, and I thought that if I married him, I would be able to spend happy days. In fact, married life was quite fun, but there were some things that were different from what I had thought after getting married. That is, my husband doesn't do any housework at all. I'd always been eating out. My husband said that he hardly ever cooked for himself. It seems that his mother came to the house at a convenient time and cleaned for him. So I always did all the housework when I came back from work. Sometimes I try to casually appeal to my husband to help me, but he stubbornly refuses to help. But I'm grateful that he doesn't complain even when I'm late for dinner because of overtime. Other than not doing housework, he's basically normal, and we have proper conversations. I think my physical burden is a bit heavy, but recently I've been buying side dishes and taking it easy, so I'm managing somehow. In that sense, I wasn't extremely happy, but I was having a reasonably enjoyable married life. Before I knew it, I had been married to my husband for three years. I was hoping that our relationship would change if we had a child, but we couldn't have a child as we hoped. I wondered if there might be a cause on either side. So I suggested to my husband that we get tested or try infertility treatment. Then my husband showed a surprising reaction. Do we really need a child? What? I was surprised. I thought it was normal to want a child. But it's true that there might be families who want to spend time just as a couple without having children. My husband might be like that. Can I ask why, just in case? Oh, well, how should I put it, it's kind of a hassle. Huh? I was honestly disillusioned with this remark. It wasn't a proper reason, but a vague one. But at the same time, I felt that if a person with such a half-hearted feeling had a child in my husband's state, the child might be unhappy. I see, I understand. Then let's not have a child. When I said that, my husband looked relieved. I was very disappointed that he didn't want a child that much. I can't hope for a child, and I do all the housework. Moreover, I can't say it because it would hurt my husband's pride, but my salary is considerably higher than my husband's. So it's no exaggeration to say that I'm the mainstay of this house. Moreover, our conversation as a couple has been decreasing recently. My husband had stopped communicating with me. He was always on his phone, and on holidays, he would often say, I'm going out for drinks with friends, and leave around noon. I was alone at home on my days off, and even when we ate dinner together on weekdays, the silence made the food taste bland. I was so troubled by my married life with my husband that I thought it might be better to break up if this situation continued. And it was at such a time that I came to know a surprising fact. It was a Saturday night. My husband was out drinking with his friends as usual. In the meantime, I received an email from a close friend. I was surprised because I had heard that her husband and she were going to have a luxurious dinner for their wedding anniversary today. But the content of the email was even more surprising. Hey! I just saw Elizabeth's husband enter a restaurant with a woman I don't know. I was stunned when I saw my friend's message. Could it be that my husband is having an affair? And he's never even taken me to a high-end restaurant. According to my friend, it didn't seem like a business or friend atmosphere, but rather like a couple. I was getting more and more angry at my husband. And everything made sense. The fact that he found it troublesome to have a child, the fact that he often went out for drinks with friends on weekends, the fact that he was always concerned about his smartphone, if you think about it, these are all behaviors that are likely to be having an affair. 
Why didn't I suspect him earlier? But I still don't know if he's really having an affair. I immediately requested an investigation from a detective agency. I haven't caught any definite evidence of infidelity yet. I decided to hold on to a little hope until I see clear evidence that it is definitely an affair. But reality is cruel. The investigation results that arrived a few weeks later from the detective agency were all ones that definitely captured my husband's infidelity. I was shocked. We had been passing each other by lately, but I still loved my husband somewhere and wanted to believe in him. But my husband was doing something that trampled on my feelings. I can't believe it. How can he have an affair so easily? And it seems that my husband is often going in and out of high-end restaurants with his mistress. Is he spending that much money on his mistress? That's when I realized something. It was something my husband had asked me to do about half a year ago. My husband said he wanted to send money to his parents and asked me to put a little more money into the house. He asked me to support him a little because my salary was higher than his. I didn't particularly dislike my in-laws, and my parents had already passed away and I didn't have any relatives who needed to be sent money, so I agreed without thinking. My husband must have been using that money to lavish on his mistress. I was even more disillusioned with my husband. How much more does he need to use me conveniently to be satisfied? And I was angry at myself for not realizing that I had been deceived by my husband until now. I started preparing various things so that I could divorce my husband at any time. First of all, I prepared to move. I didn't want to live in this house anymore because it reminded me of my husband, so I started looking for a new house. It was quite difficult to find a house in between my busy work, but I visited real estate agents when my husband was meeting his mistress, who he called a friend, and looked for a good room for living alone. It took about a month to find a new place to live. Now that I have a place to move to, all I have to do is take revenge on my husband. I hired a lawyer and prepared various things. One day, my husband called me into the living room, saying he had something to talk about. That's unusual. You never say you have something to talk about. When I nagged at him, he made a bothered face. It'll be quick. As he said, I sat on the sofa and waited for his next words. Then, my husband grinned and said this. Divorce me. I was genuinely surprised that my husband was the one to bring up divorce. I wondered how he was going to lead into divorce. I pretended not to know the truth and asked. What? Why? Then my husband made a surprising statement. Actually, I'm going to take over my mistress's company. What? So, you're no longer needed. Thanks for supporting my life until now. <laughs> not only did you earn a lot of money, but you also took care of the house, which was really helpful. A housemaid who can earn money is the best, but I don't need that anymore. A young and beautiful wife and the promised position of president in the future. I'm truly a winner in life. Sorry, but don't hold a grudge. <laughs> my husband said so with a triumphant face. From my perspective, I was rather grateful that he confessed on his own. I don't mind. Here, the divorce papers. When I said that and handed him the divorce papers I had taken out of the drawer, my husband's eyes widened. Oh. Aren't you surprised? And when did you prepare the divorce papers? Because your attitude towards me has been cold lately. So I thought we might get divorced. It's more convenient for you to get divorced sooner, right? Oh. Yeah. While my husband was surprised, he realized that he was in a situation where he could benefit and started to grin. I didn't think you were such an understanding person, but it helps. Thanks for everything. Well, enjoy your single life to the fullest. <laughs> my husband said so and looked happy. I pretended not to be angry and talked to my husband casually. But I never thought you would become a president. Have you already talked to her father? What? Oh, no, not yet. But according to her, he has decided to let the man she chooses take over as president. So since I'm going to marry her, it's a done deal that I'll become president. I see. Well, be happy. Yeah, even if you don't tell me, I'm the happiest in life. <laughs>
My husband was in high spirits. He didn't even know he was about to fall into hell. I silently watched my stupid husband pack his things and go to his mistress's place. I was desperate to hold back my laughter until my husband left the house. After that, I quickly sold the house and moved out as soon as my husband left. Next, it's time to start my full-fledged revenge on my husband. But all I have to do is simple. Just send a certified letter to my husband's workplace and his mistress's parents' house. This completes my revenge on my husband. All that's left is for him to self-destruct. Sure enough, my husband called me two or three days after I sent the certified mail. Hello? Hey! What are you doing? Why did you send a certified letter to my workplace and her parents' house? Why? After all, you had an affair, didn't you? Normally, I would claim damages from my husband and his mistress and proceed with the divorce, right? What? Didn't you forgive me and her? Are you stupid? In what world is there a fool who is betrayed by their spouse, easily forgives them and steps aside? No way. But how did you know where her parents' house is? I had hired a detective agency to investigate your affair before you confessed, and I had obtained information about your mistress. That's why I knew she was the daughter of a company president and where her parents' house was. Seriously? So what happened when I sent a certified mail to your mistress's parents' house? I asked with a smirk. Then my husband said, It's all your fault that things have gotten so bad. He seemed to remember and got angry. She didn't know I was married. That's why I was trying to secretly break up with you and be with her. Because you sent a certified mail to her parents' house, the contents of the affair were revealed to her parents and I'm in a tight spot. She was furious at being deceived, and her father complained to the president of my company, and I was fired for causing a big problem in the company. Her father's company was an important client of our company. Oh dear. That's too bad. It's all your fault. Take responsibility. Huh? What are you talking about? You're the one who betrayed me and had an affair, right? I just made a legitimate demand. I'll make sure to collect the damages. No way. I can't afford to pay damages now that I've been fired. I don't care, find a job quickly and start repaying little by little. Damn it. I'm going to go to your place right now and live there by force. Do you know where I live? Huh? What are you talking about? You're living in the house we bought, right? We? Are you only able to perceive things in a way that suits you? I bought that house in my name. So I've already sold it. What? Then where should I go if I'm kicked out of her house? I don't know. You're an adult, so figure it out yourself. Then I'll hang up. Hey. Wait. I cut off the frantic voice of my husband and blocked his calls. I felt refreshed as my husband lost everything as I had planned. After that, I claimed damages through a lawyer. My husband seems to be living in a cheap apartment while working part-time and desperately paying damages. He also tried to rely on his parents, but I had told them about the remittance issue, so they were furious and said they would disown him. Therefore, my husband was abandoned by his parents and seems to be living a lonely and poor life alone. On the other hand, I am working hard at my job while living comfortably in my new home. Recently, I got promoted and my salary has increased even more, so I'm thinking of starting a new hobby and living a luxurious life. Thank you for watching. How was today's story? Please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next story.